Hello, I'm Tom Fox and welcome to Personal Finance 120, information for managing your financial life in less than two minutes. Okay, the unemployment rate for graduates between the ages of 21 to 24 is 8.8%, and the underemployment rate is at 18.3%. Compounding these financial frustrations are depressed wages. According to the Economic Policy Institute, between 2000 and 2012, inflation-adjusted wages for college graduates fell by 8.5%, and that trend is likely to continue. When young people start their career at a lower wage, it takes years to catch up. In fact, some experts project the class of 2013 will earn less than previous grads for at least the next decades. The tough economy and tight job market is resulting in a generation of college grads that are out of work or unemployed, drowning in student loan debt, and unable to participate fully in our economy. According to FinAid, the total outstanding student loan debt is inching its way towards $1.1 trillion. The average 2013 graduate will leave school with almost $30,000 in student loan debt, and they'll more than likely struggle to make their monthly student loan payments. If you're facing difficulty making your student loan payments, you may be able to make things a little more comfortable. Student loans are either backed by the government or issued by private lenders. Government loans can be subsidized or unsubsidized. If your loan is unsubsidized, you may qualify for a deferment, but interest will accrue during that period. Your lender may also grant you a forbearance, which means you can stop making payments or make reduced payments. But again, interest will continue to accrue. If your loans are subsidized, the government covers the interest. If you can't repay private loans, you can try to negotiate with the lender to extend the payment period, but you'll wind up paying more in interest in the long run. For more information on student loan repayment options, visit our blog throughout the week. Until next time, I'm Tom Fox for Gamers Credit Counseling.